This last level is very similar to Ghosts. Except you're actually flying the Logos. You're that blessed. Alright, let me make sure I don't fuck this up. <laughs> It's very similar driving controls to the remainder of the game. The Tunnels of the Real. Okay, really quick. All this is completely worthless. Niobe is pilot. Let me take the helm of the logos. Let the ship. Ghost will provide some covering fire. Yeah, but you can't rely on him. Accelerating is acce wow. What these are some great tips. <laughs> Detaching sentinels, you must destroy it. Crush them against the hull by ramming the ship. Oh, that's going to be fun. I think you can also shoot them off, but I won't bank on that too much. Oh, it's just fire and accelerate. Oh, they bound fire to A. Okay, well at least now I know. And again, down is up, up is down. It doesn't seem like there's any penalty, really, for crashing into anything. Alright, Log- uh, fucking ghost, do your thing. So I horribly pilot this stuff. Again, that- that inverted controls, I really don't think you can change that at all. So it's a theme park ride, but thankfully, I wouldn't have it any other way. There's a reason why I really don't like to replay this level, because the controls are very, very bad for this. They're not good. I don't like it. Thankfully, again, there's not really much of a penalty for fucking up. The ship is just way too fast to be able to control it. Unfortunately, the real-world parts aren't that good. <laughs> They're really not. Uh, it's just too much of a clusterfuck to even know what's going on. Right down the wabbit hole. I think it's a bit more spacious here, though, which is good, but, you know. Waskly wabbit! Ugh, but this is the last level in the game. Besides the secret levels. The fuck am I even looking at? That's the problem. I don't even know. Thankfully, they give you a general idea of which way to go. You also don't have to look and shoot behind you because Ghost has that covered. Also not getting any sound out the right ear muff now for some reason, which is very interesting. Yeah, unfortunately, GameCube playthroughs are, uh, <laughs> I don't know, they're kind of hard to pull off anymore. I gotta figure that one out. So yeah, like Ghost's level, this is basically just not on rails, but it's more just really weird. It's just really a tie-in for the movie where they're completely stranded and waiting help, uh, waiting for help. 
At least I'll say this, the level design is pretty decent because it allows you to keep moving forward even when you like mess up and you go in different ways. So I'll give them that. The thing doesn't even slow down that much if you try to take off a little bit from the accelerator. Yeah, it's not over yet, though. They have this thing. Holy shit, what? It's a bomb. It's tracking us. I think I can lose it. Damn it. Can you take that thing down? I've got a shot. All right, so anyway, we'll get to work on that. I just have to keep us going forward. I don't even think you even look at it, really. You just sort of pilot away. I wonder if this... I, I know this mission has to have a fail state. I don't think I've ever failed it. It's just a real clusterfuck to even try to play. Thankfully, the Niobe segments... ...go a lot faster. Stuck. See? I mean, I remember how long that was as fucking Ghost. Instant as Niobe. As Ghost, that shit took forever. Alright, let me see if I can fix this shit. Digging. Hey. Unfortunately, that kills the ship. So, theme park ride is over. Should have been. It was kind of. Less than 12 hours, the machines will breach the dock walls. <laughs> Sniff. <laughs> oh, no. Takes up here they come. Give me full power, full system. This is fucking up too much this for my taste. Welcome back. It ends tonight. He fights for us. Should have been the best movie. Instead, it was kind of like the worst. The Matrix movies all kind of went downhill. At least this had action. And well, that's it for Enter the Matrix. I played through both storylines now. So really, all the bonus stuff in the game kind of comes from either doing one of two things. Either playing multiplayer, which requires two people and is real weird and really isn't that well planned out. It's kind of just, you know, another shoehorned in multiple player mode. But, you know... Plus, that guy's name was Roche. Like, that's probably what it was. It was a stab. For that hard line was a stab at their names but yeah i mean it's good it's a good tie-in at the very at the very least the story is the main aspect of it that's really really good the gameplay just is not so much at all i mean but anyone can tell that but i do like that they tried which really means a lot at the very least 
So that's something at the very least. But uh, do we need to do the secret level as Niobe? I mean, it's really kind of the same thing, I feel. We might as well if I have it unlocked. Otherwise, I'm going to do the hacking thing because the hacking thing is a lot of cool stuff um, hidden behind it. Hidden, and I forget, I actually don't know what they expected people to really do. I think it's mo more like a puzzle game mode um, that they, ex you know, that they kind of wanted people to mess around with so people can see like a whole bunch of cool stuff. Again, remembering that, you know, 10, how many years has it been? Christ, 13 years ago almost. It hasn't been, none of this shit existed on the internet with YouTube and all that where you could upload this stuff and it would, you know, then other people would do it. It was kind of just like game facts. All right, well, we can skip this. Yes, yeah, so I'll save. We already know what the code is for the secret level. 